Ho, what's going on YouTube? It's Donnie B all day, bringing you another ginormous, oh wait, oh there it is, oh, it was hiding, bringing you another cold steel knife. No, it's a really a knife, this isn't fake. So this is the 3V Pendleton Mini Hunter. <laughs> it says so on the box. Where's his eyes going? So let's see. Let's let's follow these eyes. We have a blade length of three inches. We have an overall length of six and five eighths inches. We have a wonderful, wonderful steel. It is CPM 3V, um, and it is. Uh, some kind of DLC coated, so I'm assuming it's a black blade. It is a black blade. Uh, it weighs 2.1 ounces. It is three millimeters thick, and the handle is three and five eighths um, Cray X. And you do have the Secure X sheath, um, which we will go over first. Um, normally, the one thing I don't like about the Cray X is, is that this is really flappy, but because it's so short, it really doesn't flap over that much, so it's not that bad. Um, overall, it's a typical ambidextrous um, sheath, and it says Secure X because it secures the X out of these blades. Now let's get into this guy right here. This is a carry-along knife. This isn't your solo camp knife. This isn't your solo hunting knife. And it's probably, it's probably bigger than it looks in my hand. Like, you know what I mean? To normal people, if your hands are this big, you know, and they're thinking, oh, wow, look at that. That knife's not so bad. But obviously, in my hands, it's a little dinky thing. But does that mean it's a bad thing? Skinning small game. You could skin a deer with this, but skinning small game is going to be an all day, every day type process with this guy right here. This is a sweet little package. The handle is um, really, really nice. Just like all cold steels in this style, it's really nice. For some reason, this feels less abrasive than most. I don't know if it's because on a smaller one, they do smaller um, dimpling and all that, but I don't think so. It looks about the same. It just feels really good. It does have a lanyard hole. Um, so if you really wanted, you could take this off and use it as a neck knife. Um, and it would do fine just like that. Um, so this guy is, is obviously made to be a camp buddy. You know what I mean? You're sitting around, you're doing food prep. Do, 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 food prep. You skin that rabbit or that bird or that whatever. Do, 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 do. Skinning. Um, it's really, really made for being that complementary knife to the one you just took down, whatever you had to take down, right? And if it comes down to small wood processing, it's stuff like that. Now, normally, a lot of people will have the folder on them they'll have some kind of like a cut jack like this or some kind of folding knife i kind of have all around me um like the kershaw right so you'll have these but the problem with folding knives is they while they're very convenient because you can put them anywhere um they do have a pivot point and the least amount of moving parts the better when it comes down to rigidity and rigid rigidity and um and overall strength and construction, right? A solid piece of steel is gonna be a lot stronger. There's no breaking points. Um, this one does have a little tiny rubber finger guard, and you can see I can move it, but it actually really does the work because it's so it's rubber, it really holds my hand in there. Um, let's see, edge, edge, edge. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is um this is definitely gonna be a good skinning blade. And food prep and all that. I mean, it is razor, 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 rizana, um, razor sharp out of the box. And, um, that's a good thing, but here's the thing. <laughs> what can it do? So, you know, food prep, things like that. You know what I just noticed is the ergonomics of this handle is really that's probably why it feels so good in the hand even though it's little it's got really really good ergonomics and putting your pinky on the end 
that nice rubber end that's got all these lines just like that, it offers a very, very good feel. Um, I actually really like this little guy. This is going to be um, an EDC carry knife. Um, I mean, how well is this going to fit on the belt? Put it anywhere. Um, and that's what this is. This will be with me today along with my cut jack that I'm carrying because it matches. Um, but let's go and um, let's go and see how tough it is. Let's go. All right. So y'all seen my lightsaber, uh, my lightsaber videos, that uh, video. Um, and these are the tubes that my lightsabers came in. They are really thick, very, very hard um, cardboard. So let's see. First, if it's going to be used as an everyday carry, it should be able to do your everyday carry type stuff. Like, um, oh my gosh, that whole package, that whole packaging slip piece, it just went right through it. All right, so it should be able to do all that, and it does. Now let's see how it cuts through this hard cardboard. Look at that. Look at that. Holy moly. It's a small knife with a big edge. Oh, look at that. That's not so bad. Um, it's just sharp, guys. It's really freaking sharp. Um, so let's take it over to the wood. All right. Little blade, big stump. Let's do some four foot drops with a little tiny blade. It's usually harder to get on a fall straight, but this one seems to be weighted pretty pretty well all right i do like that i'll do a couple hard downward throws before we get into some cutting see how the tip goes oh it's so light it's hard to throw but it comes down with some very very good bite very very good bite hard nylon rope wow doesn't come much easier than that that's a push cut no sawing just pushing Woo -wee. All right, so now obviously this isn't your processing knife, but I can't tell you guys an edge is good. We don't at least test it a little. So now having carpenter steel, I'm not really worried about the edge, honestly. This stuff is made to be beaten. It's made to survive. It's just really, really good wood, all right? Woo, and anybody who's ever watched Ron Jeremy knows about good wood. <laughs> what a homely man. All right, so it's just uh, it's just crazy easy to get to perform. There's the big dog. I was looking for him. So let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So not only is this going to be your carry along, and not only is this going to be your food prep and your skinner, but when you need to get that wood ready for a belaze, check that out. That is just pretty. Let's see if we can't get some curls going. Oh, and we got the Nike symbols. We got the curls. Holy moly. This thing is so sharp. It is making paper thin curls paper thin curls so you got your nike symbols then you do some pull cuts and you get those crazy beautiful curls those will light up great let's see let's see now for chopping it's obviously not a chopper but doing stuff like this um chopping comes easy with a knife like this you hold it away at the end and you just let the blade do the work and uh, as you can see it's actually doing a pretty good job. It's taking some um, nice chunks out of there as a little chopper. So once we get it down, then we're just gonna take our, our edge and fill. Wow, man, man, man alive. This thing, man, boys and girls and girls and boys, you need to make your pit spikes, your arrows, your tent spikes, your spear tips, any of that garbage, no problem. Woo! Leaves the tip right into good wood. Let's see if we can't get through to through this hard bark. Oh, look at that. Look at that. 
Oh, it's just a piece of bark and I'm skinning it without taking off all the way to the actual inside. You can peel with it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Probably covering it with my hand, but what I want to do is get a nice, hello, Mr. Bumblebee. You don't sting me, I won't sting you. All right, so this edge is just per freaking perfection. Perfection. Let's see, let's see, let's see here. Let's see here. All right, let's get all that out of the way. And let's see. Let's see how thick of a piece we can actually get through the... And it's not any fault of the blade, it's just the weight. There we go. Here we go, yo. Ba-boom. This little guy right here is going to be great as a, um, a bring-along. And it's going to be an awesome everyday carry just because its size is perfect. It's the size of your, you know, typical folding knife that you're going to bring with you. But it's the strength of your fixed blade and that is a very very good thing all right skinning knife let's see how you do here why wow, taking hairs off I'm trying to skin just the top to take these little hairs and it is doing it let's see if we can go across obviously we can wow this thing is sweet man you know when i first got it and i saw how little it was I almost dismissed it. I almost said, mm, I don't know, this is kind of tiny and I'm a pretty big guy. This might not be that great. But, you know, this is falling into one of those so far so good categories where it's like, I can't find one thing I don't like about it. You know, everything about it works. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys where i am okay so this is where i am this is where i threw it from it's way over there right so let's let's go get it let's take the steps ready one two three four five steps it was more like four and three quarter and this little guy flew through the air it's really light so it's kind of hard to throw but it did it because it's freaking awesome it's cold steel here it is the mini Pendleton Hunter or the Pendleton Mini Hunter. I think that's what it's called. Pendleton. Yeah, it says it right there on the blade. Pendleton Mini Hunter. This is your do all carry anywhere. Get that job done type of knife. This is pretty sweet. This will be with me on my side today. I am absolutely freaking loving it. Um, I'm going to have a whole lot of fun with this blade. And. The fun starts now, baby. So that's it. I'm going to take this guy out and uh, keep using it for the rest of the day. See how she do. And uh, I can't actually wait to do an actual camp trip where I get to bring this along and, uh, and have it as that secondary blade and really, really start to have some fun. So that's it on this one, man. That's it on this one, man. Everybody have a great day. I am Donnie B all day. And until whoosh, next night. Toff.